All right, hello and welcome to uh, our lesson for this time is uh, two computer setup biopack plus e prime event related psychophysiology. And in this uh, video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can set up two Windows machine desktop computers um, to work together to allow you to uh, both control stimuli and record behavioral responses using e prime on one computer. Uh, running an experiment on one computer and at the same time gather physiological data using the uh, Biopack uh, MP35 setup. So the basics of this setup are shown to you in this schematic diagram and the two computers that we have we're going to call them STEM and acquisition computers and one computer represented by the square is a screen which the subject would look at or maybe headphones which the subject would have on their head, head something like that and it essentially provides stimuli to the person who then you know uses those stimuli to decide or do something or make a judgment or what have you. The thing is is that while the person is looking at the stim computer they are usually actually always in this setup hooked up in some manner to the MP35. Um, so for example I just show one lead recording EDA but it could be EKG, it could be uh, EEG, it could be EMG, it could be any of those kinds. While the MP35 is acquiring data through the EDA leads, um, it's also getting sent a trigger signal denoted by the arrows labeled TRIG that's fed out this back of the stimulus computer using the parallel port and then into the back of the MP35 and we have a special connector cable for that. Once all of those data have been acquired and digitized by the MP35 unit, they are sent out through a USB cable to the acquisition computer, uh, which runs separately in, in parallel to the stimulus computer, and that's labeled ACQ on this diagram. Now, let's move ahead a little bit. Let's look at our basic equipment. Our basic equipment is as follows. We have an MP35 unit. This is the little blue box here, which you're so familiar with. It may be an MP36, and in fact, the operation for this uh, of the two models is indistinguishable. In the front, you have two data cables. On the right, you have the thing that looks just like an old-fashioned 25-pin uh, printer cable. It's not. It's been switched around a little bit. And then on the left, you just have a standard uh, USB cable. It's got a little blue piece of tape on it to denote that it's uh, connected to the blue biopack. And then, of course, you've got some power units, which came with your biopack as well. Now, the next thing you've got is you've got one desktop computer, which, in this case, I've labeled with a little piece of green tape. Green symbolizes the uh, E-prime. That's the color scheme there. And that is, of course, our experimental control computer. Next, what you have is another computer, which is our physiological data acquisition computer, which I'll just call acquisition. And here it's symbolized by blue. That's that color code for um, uh, um, the biopack. Okay. Now what I've done is I have faced the two desktop uh, towers uh, right next to each other. They're sideways in this thing so that we can actually see the cables coming out of the back and, and, and getting routed and all that other kind of stuff. But in this case, the one in back right here, this is the one running E-prime. Um, and it's the one out of which the uh, parallel cable will run into the blue box and then this one is the one acquiring the physiological data so this is the one where the blue USB cable will end up running into okay very good now Jordan is going to help us run this so Jordan if you would let's uh, start by taking the blue box placing it where it needs to be for for data acquisition just put it on top of those two desktops I like to put it up here create a little table for it so that uh, it's easy to see. Okay, now let's get those two data cables set up. Let's do the uh, trigger cable coming out of the stim computer and going into the blue box first. The critical thing at this point is to make sure that you've got the uh, cables run correctly. Uh, a common error is to plug the data, the trigger cable, into the physiological acquisition computer. First of all, he's placed the one end into the back of the MP35. Very good. And tighten it down. And then the other end. Yeah, let's put those cables back there. Into the back of. Okay, now one little wrinkle here. 
for those of you who are doing this, is that uh, the parallel port, this 25 pin uh, channel, which is a feature of older computers because it's how people used to hook their printers up, uh, the parallel port is a disappearing breed. And in fact, for these newer Windows desktop machines, I had to order the parallel port as an option. Uh, I think it costs 25 bucks onto the total uh, price of the, uh, of the computer. But essentially, uh, that's an issue. That's a significant issue for you. And you need to make sure that if your computer doesn't already have a parallel port installed, that you, you do that. All right. The next step, of course, is the USB cable that connects the MP35 to the acquisition computer. So there we go. So once we've done that, we want to just make sure that we check. So is this our physiological acquisition computer, data acquisition computer? Yes, it is. And there's the data cable coming from the MP35. So I'm going to follow this cable around. Sorry about that. Here it goes. Right into the back of the computer. And then, I'm sorry, the MP35. And then, of course, I want to make sure that the trigger cable comes out comes out of that guy and it goes into into the other computer, uh, the experimental control computer. Okay, the last thing of course is to make sure that you uh, plug in the MB35. All right. The last thing that we have to do is we have to power up the uh, blue box hits the power button, you hear the uh, physiological data acquisition computer give you that strange sort of three-toned um, uh, bell, which essentially tells you that the blue box is now talking to the acquisition computer. And you'll have two green lights on, one for the power is on the right, that should always be on, and on the left is something called a busy light, which takes, as you see, it just went out, it takes about 30 seconds, depending on the model, uh, for it to turn off. The busy light just indicates that the blue box uh, has some, a boot-up sequence that it has to do. And uh, once it turns off, you're ready to record your data. And that endeth the lesson.